back with Leslie Chong this afternoon from Imugene. Leslie, good afternoon. Hi, Andrew. Big news in the last couple of days here for Azacel, you say hitting a major milestone. Uh, first patient dosed in the one, phase 1B trial. Uh, just tell us a bit more about the study, Leslie. Yes, so Azacel is our allogeneic CAR T. Uh, that is derived from uh, T cells from healthy donors. And so it's universally fit with our uh, gene editing uh, platform. And we are going after a very progress or late line of lymphoma, which is a blood cancer, and uh, these autologous CAR Ts that are approved, the patients who go on auto CAR T tend to fail roughly 60 to 70%. And once they progress or fall off that disease, it's really hard to, to do much with the patients, unfortunately, and there is no option. So we are likely going to be first in class, perhaps best in class, allogeneic CAR T. So this is an unmet medical need. It's a hugely un, unmet medical need because once they fall off of auto CAR T, the approved blood cancer therapies, there's nothing afterwards. Uh, they could possibly get chemo, but that's um, that's not likely. Uh, but we are quite excited to start what we're calling the phase 1B. This is the confirmation study before we get to the FDA to, does, to get their clearance on our registrational, which is sort of the phase two, the last phase before you get a product marketed. And of course, this follows a successful phase one study with 84 patients. Absolutely. So in that 84 patient, we saw uh, response rates that were greater than 60% and then even greater response rate in those that had progressed off of auto CAR T and in this particular late line of lymphoma. And they were on their fourth, fifth, sixth, and sometimes seventh line of therapy. So can you imagine um, receiving a new lease on life and getting a, a whopper of an 83% response with uh, with some durability? You know, some patients went on six months plus some patients are, you know, went on for over a year. So we're delighted. And Leslie, you see scope down the line to use Aza cell beyond blood cancer, do you? Absolutely, because we have this oncarolytics. This is our CF33, our oncolytic virus that expresses the target, which is called CD19. And Azer cell is target CD19. So we make solid tumors express or show the CD19. So it's a, it's a mark and then kill approach in that combination. So we've already seen really wonderful and impressive, um, I would say unprecedented killing in that combination. And we, as you know, we had just announced on our metastatic advanced solid tumor study, which is the mass study where we had a complete responder by a bile duct cancer patient. Uh, he's been on the study for more than 350 days and 200 plus days of of complete response, that means no tumor growth at all, anywhere in his body. Um, immunologically, it's active, all those things. Um, that one is quite interesting because bile duct actually doesn't, uh, doesn't get affected by immunotherapy. There's not a lot of line of therapy for bile duct cancer. So it's, it's, a, it's yet another unmet need. And so um, I dare say uh, to get activity in a cancer type like that, that just says our oncolytic virus is working. And that was at the mid-level. So I can't imagine what it's going to do when we get higher. Well, Leslie, as you suggest, uh, you've had a batch of good news recently. What milestones are coming up? What are those catalysts? Well, so we will continue, hopefully, to get great news off of the mass study because that is a snapshot in time. And so as the data progresses and matures even, and uh, we have conferences and publications uh, coming up, so we're gonna be constantly cleaning and looking at that data. So as we progress, we will update the market. 
on carolytics, of course, our first patient in ovarian will have some data. They just got dosed, so we, we need to give it a few weeks to get the oncolytic virals, virus to replicate, and then they get their scans after a while, so we'll, we'll, have a, we'll take a look. Um, so that, that uh, data will be maturing and progressing. And then, of course, azer cell, um, the first allogeneic uh, CAR-T that may be approved in a diffuse, you know, a late line uh, lymphoma, DLBCL, and that might be the first um, allocarty to be approved in the world. So it's it, lots of news uh, coming up. The next twelve months is pretty cluttered with um, with key catalysts. Is Asa cell Leslie? Is that the jewel in the imaging crown? Do you reckon? Well, you know, I've always said I don't want to pick my favorite child, but sometimes some of the programs are more exciting than others because they're behaving quite nicely. And I have to say the oncolytic viral therapies as well as azer cell are, are, are behaving quite, quite nicely. Good to see you, Leslie. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Andrew.